Thank you, Mr. Can, Speaker. Can, can you please read the order? Unfortunately, um, I don't have my rule book here. But order six deals with the privilege of a member of this house to um, speak on any matter that concerns his membership of this house. Sp speak to your mic. In so far as, in so far as. Speak to your mic. Okay, I'm doing that, sir. Order six deals with the privileges of a member of this house. So I'm coming under all the paragraphs of under six. I don't have my rule book here, but he pointed to a particular uh, paragraph under which I'm coming. I, I think well, it, will I think it, be, it will not be it will not be out of order. Privilege can come at any point as, as we are sitting. So get the appropriate order because it is not only one clause. No, just a, oh, yeah. fine, great. Mr. Speaker, I'm coming under one and two. Order two. Six one and two. two. Of order six. That's what I'm saying that. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So the point is, let me just go ahead. Mm. With your permission, sir, can I go ahead? Go ahead. All right, sir. Um, my name is Solomon Bob, and uh, I'm from River State. Mr. Speaker, we say this is a people's house. And uh, as a people's house, we should um, not deliberate in fear or fear to deliberate. Part of my um, duty as a member of this house is to call attention, not just to the pedantry of legislation, but to habits and conducts of public officers that are likely I want, to beg this country. I want to beg you to please speak to your mic so that we can only hear what they are saying. Speak to your mic. I'm sorry, I thought you were hearing me. I said part of my responsibility as a member of this house is not just to speak to the pedantry, that is the fine prince of legislation, but to call attention to such matters, actions, utterances of public officers that are likely to endanger the oneness and the well-being of this country. And I'm saying this with regard to the utterance of Attorney General Abubakamakami Malami yesterday on TV, Channel TV, reported today everywhere, both in the mainstream and social media. And the utterance is to the fact that he tried to analogize the ban, the proposed ban on open grazing. So, so, spare part business. Mr. Speaker, and they tried again to suggest that the proposed ban amounts to an infringement on Section 41 of the Constitution, which deals with freedom of movement. Those two arguments are ingenious irresponsible to say the least, with due respect to him, and unfortunate. Mr. Speaker, open grazing, proposed open grazing ban, to compare it to the business of spare parts. It's incendiary trope. It is also loaded with ethnic law. We don't need that now, this, this part of the country. We are, we are my, facing a burgeoning infernal. My honorable colleague. Can I finish, sir? Can no, I, finish, I want sir? to refer you to the first on privileges. Go to read, read one. Can I finish, Privileges sir? are the right enjoyed by the House collectively and by members of the House. I want sir? to tell you in all honesty, Mr. What you are now bringing has nothing to do with that. No, Mr. Speaker, I said, I, first of all, it has, it has nothing to do with that. You see, let us not be introducing things that you know. You are a lawyer. Mr. Speaker, can I just say this? No, please. Can I just say this, please? If you want to come... Just one minute, just one minute. You are free to come... Please, I want to beg of you. You are free to come with any motion regarding what has been mentioned, which you feel 
It is not right. But you can come under this whole point of order. No. It is not, it is not in line with their own thought. It's not in line with the house rules. So I want to ask you to please take your seat. Thank you. Please. Thank you.